62% of Americans receive their health care through their employer. Uh, the rate is lo significantly lower for Hispanics. One of the things that we would want to promote is building on the employer-sponsored insurance model, trying to ensure that the employer essentially becomes the advocate to ensure that we uh, retain a, as many workers in, and to attract as many workers as possible and at the same time ensuring that we have a healthy workforce. Unfortunately, we have many small businesses that can't afford it because of adverse selection and the structural problems that exist in the small group and non-group insurance markets and that's the reason why we would want to restructure those insurance markets which is essentially what a lot of this debate is about which is health insurance uh, a reform, not, a, not a lot of the political uh, debates out there and also controlling the cost of health care and I guess and I guess the last aspect is making sure also that non-citizens have good access to health care we a lot of non-citizens are not eligible for a lot of the public programs we would want to make sure that if 22 percent of the uninsured are non-citizens uh, and if we're trying to achieve universality that we cover that population a lot of your members are just the kind of small and medium-sized businesses that when they look at the market, they say, oh, I looked at a plan, I just can't afford it. Or they uh, insure some of their employees, but not others. What, how would a market for those people be different? How could you make them different as part of a, a comprehensive reform so they could buy insurance if they thought that that was a worthwhile investment for their business? Well, small businesses pay on average 18% or more in premiums than larger size businesses. And we also have seen an, uh, a lower number increasingly year after year of small businesses that are able to afford that insurance. They've tried to shift the risk and shift the cost as much as they can to keep that insurance. They've moved to HDHP, high deductible, high pre uh, premium plans, HSAs. They've tried to do everything possible to try to keep that health care uh, plans in place but they can't afford it. So what we would argue for are exchanges where small businesses can purchase that health care and not be able to suffer from the pro uh, structural problems that are called uh, essentially the adverse selection from not having the base of employees necessary to negotiate good rates with the insurance carriers.